Wow. Hi, everybody. Um, this was more of a project than I thought it would be. <laughs> Mainly because I had legs that I were gonna that I was gonna go put in the back of this little shelf that I made for the um, side table and nightstand of the bed. Um, but the legs were going to be just too tall and I was going to make them um, narrow so that I would still have enough room on the bottom to do what I need to do. Yeah, I know I got to clean those shavings up. Um, so mid-project I decided, well, you know what, there is some backing in the back of this that will allow me to um, put in a one-inch screw and it will attach because this part is really thin. It's um, it's about this thickness on the sides and uh, but they put like a um, a wood backing so these screws up here will grab now these are the screws that I decided um, to put in myself because they actually had two inch screws <laughs> and this is thin so it's stuck out even with the wood backing in the back it stuck out I go this is crazy so um, I pulled those screws out and I put my own which is um, let's see if we can focus on this these right here and those work perfectly um, so I put these uh, this piece of wood here because on the side is a piece of wood that I could just put an L bracket on there and it'll hold it and it's pretty sturdy I mean it ain't going nowhere okay so now we have I know I'm turning the camera around two shelves and no more piling up and no more messes because it's pretty tall under there okay so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and um, let me see if I can uh, just go ahead. Well, no, I'll just do another video of the shelf that I put over the microwave. Okay, signing off for now. Bye, everybody. Okay, done with the second nightstand. And uh, as you can see, it's level. All is good with the world. All is good with the world. And for some reason, I had to use longer screws here, so I just used the ones that I took out that I replaced with mine, and it worked. So um, apparently, this piece of wood back here probably was a little bit thicker than the other one. So that's probably why I needed the longer screws. But now, I have a second shelf. Yay! All is good with the world and I don't know if you noticed but I had to take um, the door off because it was just getting in the way oh and I had to pick up of course another drill uh, black and decker I picked it up at uh, Lowell's um, because it's smaller and it fit into this tight space and it also pivots so it could be either folded like this or just straight all looks good and the neat thing about this one is it has a light <laughs> so I can see what I'm doing okay everybody um, I'll come back with the video with the shelf that's over the microwave so you can see that one as well okay signing off for now bye everybody Okay, hi everybody, I'm back, and this is the shelf that I made that's over the microwave. How cool is that? And it's so funny because my husband just asked me, well, why didn't I take it all the way to the end? Well, you got to look at what can fit from this corner all the way down, almost 25 inches, so that's the only length I can go. So, um... I was able to, to screw it on the side um, and I used legs. I made little channels so the legs would fit in perfectly um, so it could stand up like that. Um, if I need to remove it, I can remove it and just plug up those holes and all is done. All is done. But 
Um, I did this because everything again, like I said previously, everything was piling up. And in order for me to get to one thing, I had to remove everything. So this solves that problem. And it's level. How about that? Okay. Nothing fancy, but very functional. Okay, everybody, signing off. Thank you for watching. Hi, everybody. Boy, you guys are just going to get sick of me <laughs> doing all these uh, modifications and or improvements. And here's an improvement. Okay, this is underneath the refrigerator. Let me just back out the camera so you can see. Here I am. This is my residential refrigerator. Yeah, I'm laying down on the floor because guess what? I had to remove the panel underneath. And when I first got the this RV, I have gone through it with a fine tooth comb. And every now and then, I revisit all the things that I've done to see how they're holding up. And so I'm underneath the fridge and I notice that the board in the back that I put, let me see if you can see my finger, this board right here, um, had fallen over. And the reason I put that board back there, this, this is what's holding up the fridge. It was leaning down, so far down, that everything in the fridge was basically sliding <laughs> to the back. And um, I know that in, there is a certain amount of lean that the refrigerator needs in order for the doors to close but this was excessive so I concocted uh, this fix this is a two by I believe it's a ten and I actually had to shimmy it a little bit and then force a um, a half inch in there, and I towed in the the screws <clears throat> so they would not um, go into the refrigerator. The screws are about one and a half inches, one inch or one and a half inches in length, and. Um, I put it up there so the refrigerator would not lean so much. Um, I didn't see very much support in this board to begin with and I was afraid that one good bump and this refrigerator would just fall in <laughs> this cavity. <clears throat> so anyways, um, like I said, I revisit all the stuff that I've done to see how it's holding up and that board had fallen over. Um, fallen over this this tubing and, and this right here, this uh, goes to the refrigerator. And of course the, the wires in the back. So I lifted it up. I shimmied it and I towed in the screws and all is good with the world. <laughs> yes, it is. It's all done. I don't expect this to move anymore. I also put a, let me move this little lamp over here. Hey everyone. Thank you for watching my videos. I really do appreciate all of your support. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and click on that bell so you can receive notifications when I put out new videos. Give me a like if you like my videos and again thank you so much for your support. Bye everyone.